baby. Yeah, it's Akasan, baby. Well, I'm losing my voice. I barely got any sleep last night, about two hours or so, thanks to the Justice League. Uh, I am here, um, or near, at Siggy Base. Uh, this is a slash Navy slash Army base, I believe. It's a shared base. And I'm about to see Power Rangers, baby. Yeah, baby. I gotta stay up for that. Beat her, bite her, pick her up. <laughs> I can't even do it right now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Peter, Piper, Pickle, Pear, don't want to do it. Okay. Somebody thought I was filming my dick. All right, guys, as promised, it's morphin' time. You guys hear the music in the background? That's what should have been played in the movie. We need dinosaur power! Oh, no, that's just a regular airplane. Never mind. Alright, we're in the car and such and uh, headed to the station so I can make sure I get home safely. Uh, thoughts on Power Rangers the movie? Uh, what I will say, this is kind of going to be my review, so there will be some spoilers. Maybe we'll, I'll try not to leak too much out. Um, there you go. So, uh, I'm so glad that I Twitch was doing the uh, Twitch Presents was actually doing the Power Rangers marathon because um, it really helped. I was watching and I was watching like the trial of Green Ranger. That really helped me like remember how cheesy the original show was. And you were just saying the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Very, like, very cheesy. Very cheesy. And that, but that was actually a good thing how cringy the original version was because then going into this movie you know sometimes with nostalgia we sometimes only remember the best parts and then over the years we kind of morph no pun intended we kind of morph things into our modern day life now so we only remember the best of power rangers a certain way and then we don't remember how damn cheesy that show was so that actually helped with this movie because there were a lot of cringy moments in that movie in this movie we just watch but it, I reminded myself like Dude, this isn't really supposed to be that serious uh, art it, it was kind of weird it was like an up and down type of movie like it was the beginning was really good um, very like a Marvel or DC type movie like a whole uh, thing about discovering your powers discovering yourself your mission in life uh, I kind of thought about Iron Fist for a little second and the other thing which was notable for me is um, I seriously think the uh, Lionsgate was inspired by the fan film of Power Ranger um, oh, I, th yeah. think, I think that's what it's called but basically everybody called it like, calls it the R-rated Power Rangers fan film because the beginning of the movie we were getting the popcorn or something but the beginning of the movie starts off that same exact way with a like it was really gritty in the beginning very gritty very similar there are a few other scenes that reminded me just of the same um, that that same fam film type of service uh, they do they do they have a great couple of Easter eggs especially at the end for your old school fans uh, the after credit scene uh, that was a nice, nice little stinger. That was a nice little stinger. It was real. Uh, is it, okay, this is semi, semi spoilerish, but it was kind of funny. Like you could tell, even in the uh, the um, the crowd I was with, the guy behind us, like you can see, there's a big divide between green ranger and white ranger like like he's like oh my god that's the guy who played the white ranger i'm like nah man that's the dude that played the green ranger and he's like oh shit that's the pink one too so uh that was kind of that that part was kind of cool uh to even see that in there uh the movie really felt kind of like it started off very similar to chronicle actually um nice storytelling nice pace then it got kind of weird kind of man of steel ish um especially with the spaceship type of stuff going on and then the whole it looked like it looked like the same backdrop from man of steel when the kryptonians invade and such almost looked like exactly the same town but it wasn't bad in in some form or fashion it, it wasn't bad and then it turned into this almost pacific rim ish oh, yeah. type feeling 
which still wasn't bad either. Um, it, but there are moments in that movie, like no lie, there are moment, moments in that movie where you, the plot holes are pretty obvious and the moments are really cringy. But I just say have fun with it. Have fun with it. Roll with it. And I think you'll have a really good time. Um, uh, <laughs> just laugh at it. That's all I could do really because some parts are like, you're like, what the hell? Like for, um, particularly this is another spoilerish thing. So meet me for a second if you haven't seen the movie yet. Um, I was wondering how, how did Zordon? I, I I couldn't understand the connection between Zordon, the morphing grid, and then bringing uh, Zach. No, not Zach. <laughs> Billy back to life. Oh. Like, like. Yeah. Whoa, huh? Oh, well, I think what I got from it was, um, I guess in the beginning, like, the person dying was him. He died, and then uh, Alpha said that he put him inside of the ship. Right, his essence he was, was of his yeah, ship. just like and, like uh, uh, Superman's dad in Man yeah. of Steel, funny enough. So, yeah. I, I guess what they were trying to imply was... His spirit? Once, well, yeah, I, I guess, like, once all of the, uh, the, the Rangers come back, he could come back to life, but... <laughs> Yeah, but then okay. he could trade with. I, I don't know what. what <laughs> so the morphing grid with? is like supposed to be like. Uh, was he just gonna the die? afterlife or like uh, that part? Yeah. That was the uh, like I, I started getting lost a little bit yeah, there, I but I was just like whatever. Like the, sure what and uh, also how did uh, uh, no Billy? I know how Billy found the uh, crystal, but um, no, there was there was one other big thing. Oh, how did the putties know where to go? to oh, find Zordon and uh, I thought the same thing right I, mean, I was like I didn't know exactly what, what, how did they all find them well, oh because um, they could feel the well crisp. no because uh, which, uh, Rita she was a power ranger right? oh, so she knew already where where, where Zordon, things like that, crashed uh, uh, I guess that I guess that makes sense yeah okay anyways guys so spoiler warning over um, uh, yeah so anyways I liked I, I liked it it was an, it was it was a nice entertainable movie uh you sometimes the nostalgia will come back to you when you when when they start like the entire movie when we were getting to the point where they were getting ready ready to morph and such both you and me were just like hey morph like they're gonna say it they're gonna say it he's gonna say it and then I think he kind of fucked it up. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, no. He was to play it cool. Yeah, he played it cool. He's just like, it's, it's morphin time. It's morphin like, time. Like, you no, been man. Been. I wanted him. Well, after, you knew he was going to say it. Yeah, but I wanted him to hug. Yeah. Uh, after he hugged uh, Zach. Yeah. Not Zach. I keep on calling him Zach because uh, he's the blue yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. After he hugged, um, uh, well, uh, because he's black. Uh, <laughs> after he hugged Billy, I wanted him to just look at all of them and be like, guys. It's morphing time. Like, all confident and shit, but whatever. There were a lot of lines from the original TV show that they snuck in there, like, fairly clever. And when the Zords were running together, that was pretty dope. That was actually kind of cool. I didn't like the song that they used. I wish they used the after credit song instead. But I was just like, yeah, okay, I can feel it when all the Zords were working together. The last thing I'll say is, like, the CG looked better than I saw in the trailer. Not great, but I still think better than Transformers. I could actually yeah. kind of tell what was going on. I didn't, the color scheme between the Black Ranger and the Blue Ranger wasn't as yeah, yeah. Uh, apparent. Like it probably should have been a lighter blue yeah. or a darker black because the two of them look pretty much the same. Like, same thing with the, uh, with the Pink Ranger also. Really? A little bit. I could well, tell which well, one. Was. Actually, I, I think it was like when she first when they when they, when they first morphed and they ah. came out of the, like the, the tunnel, or whatever. Yeah, the yeah, that, that was kind of it was yeah. cringy too, but um, I just laughed at it and I had a good time with it and it was all good, guys. So, um, but the CG did look better than what I saw in the trailer, um, the with those Megazords and all that. But uh, uh, overall, I was very entertained. Uh, I liked this a lot more than I thought I would have. So. I recommend you guys check it out or rent it. Either way. All right, guys. I'm here. I'm at the stop now. Talk to you later. Peace. I just want to add one more thing. That shit was like a giant Krispy Kremes ad, like like big big ass Krispy Kreme sponsorship. I was laughing so hard every time Rita mentioned Krispy Kremes.
I was crispy creams. Crispy creams. Yo, and honestly, she might have been kind of cringy, Rita, but she was to me, she was the only thing keeping that movie going and semi-entertaining because of how cringy and corny it was. Props to whoever played her because that couldn't have been like I don't I don't know how she could get through that without busting up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>